sand, beautiful sand. It's what's running that computer you're watching this on at the moment. It's what's running your VDU. Your mobile phone needs it. But it's sand. Chemists call it silicon. But to you and me, sand. My name's Andy Wicks. And I'll be taking on a little journey through the story of programming. And you'll see why this nice stuff could turn you into the next Bill Gates. Now you may wonder about this preoccupation with sand. Sand is after all just sand. What's that got to do with programming? Well, when you were at school, the teacher told you all the answers and then tested you to see whether you remembered it. And if you got it wrong, you got told off. Sand is just sand. It couldn't care whether you get it right or wrong. And you've now got to rearrange your thinking. It doesn't matter how often you get it wrong. What matters is whether you find the errors. And students have a lot of difficulty losing the, oh, I got it wrong and I'm going to worry and I'm going to cry and... No, no point, it's just wasting time. The sand will do whatever it's told, and you've got to get used to doing what it wants. It'll tell you if it doesn't like it, but it's up to you to make that difference. You hear quite often that programming is meant to be difficult, but the secret is programming is easy. And if sand can do it, how hard can it be? You'll hear that you've got to learn words and words and words and things. No, none of that. Mistakes are good, not bad. You learn what works and what doesn't work. And then you just have to think and try often. No programmer knows all the answers. And so what you have to do is to cheat intelligently. Use the internet if you're having a problem. Someone out there will have created the YouTube video covering exactly what you're trying to do. So don't worry, just keep trying. Trying is good. Mistakes don't matter, it's just sad.